Before Greta Gerwig brought President Barbie to screen, Barbie spent a very important political summer in Philadelphia. 23 years before Greta Gerwig's army of Barbies made their way into our screens, Barbie came to Philly. Back in 2000, the Republican National Convention was held in Philadelphia, where the party nominated George W. Bush for president and Dick Cheney for vice president. The swag bag for the delegates included a convention Barbie along with an elephant-shaped beanie baby, packs of Altoids, elephant-shaped Kraft macaroni and cheese, and other goodies. Convention Barbie has a stylish pearl-buttoned red suit, pearl earrings, a convention pass and, naturally, red high heels, wrote the Inquirer journalist Jane M. Von Bergen in a 2000 report. This Barbie came in four avatars, a black version with long straight, dark, hair, an Asian-American version with black hair, a brunette Latinx version, and a blonde, white Barbie, though the basic features remain similar in each. The doll wears a convention 2000 inches badge around her neck but there are no party symbols. The box has the same words printed in red, white, and blue, and contains a red plastic hairbrush and two paper signs that say Barbie votes. Mattel also donated the same dolls to the Democratic National Convention the same year. The dolls are identical, the color of the box changes from red to blue for the Democrat Barbie, this political neutrality, Levi Fox former Alan F. Davis Fellow at the Philadelphia History Museum at the Atwater Kent, argues, did not reflect the realities of political difference between the two major parties in 2000. In an essay that accompanies the entry of the convention Barbies on the Encyclopedia of Greater Philadelphia website, Fox mentions that, in 2000, the Democratic Party platform focused extensively on the need to increase economic and political opportunities for both women and minorities but the Republican Party platform had little to say about issues of gender and race. Mattel's approach to racial diversity has been criticized for years. The stereotypical Barbie, as Gerwig calls Margot Robbie's Barbie in her film, with blonde hair, blue eyes, and an impossibly svelte body, was released by Mattel in 1959. The Republican Party's decision to include the diverse dolls was in line with its effort to project itself as a big tent party, especially for women. I would hope that the message, if a doll could have a message, is that women do represent the Republican Party and do represent politics and more of them should enter politics, said Jane Larimer, then co-chair of the Republican convention, to Von Bergen. Five of the 13 speakers at the 2000 convention were women, four were married to Republican politicians, 